Well, welcome back to Houston Life. As we wrap up the last week of Black History Month, I got a lesson in African drum and dance with the Kuman Kelly African Dance and Drum Ensemble here in Houston and learned a little bit about the expressions of Guinea, Mali, Ghana, South Africa, Senegal, and the Congo. With every beat of the drum, and each step of movement expresses the meaning of African culture, which is what Christina Gerard Sila of the Kuma Kelly Dance and Drum Ensemble has been showcasing since 2004. I had started to learn two techniques of traditional dance at the same time, South African and West African. But there was no representation of West African dance in the city of Houston, which set Christina on a mission. I got uh, together with another dancer, another West African dancer, Dr. Ariaga Mbonisi, as well as one of the drummers that you'll see later, Ogununde Abiona and we started a dance company. This dance company has since been reconnecting current and future generations to the history and traditions of Africa, along with its transitions and current applications through dance, drum, and culturally educated performances. Most people think that it's just one place, and um, it's a little interesting. We have to explain, no, it's 54 different countries, over a thousand different languages spoken, and each country can contain up to as many ethnic groups as possible so it's a very rich and very amazing and dynamic place and a lot of students young folks and old folks really don't have any knowledge or education about the continent of Africa. Christina has been performing for over 20 years and uses that to create passion and drive in others. Traditional dance is one of the things that empowers me as an individual. So when I teach students, uh, the young folks especially, uh, I tell them to find a place within, take this knowledge, put that there. And so when times get hard, like what we're going through now, draw from that and have that strength for you to just pick yourself up and keep going. Because it is who you are. It is in you. You just have to rediscover it. I was even able to discover my inner passion of drumming, and I'm told it's something that we all have inside of us. It is a power that we can all draw from, and it is something that will encourage you and keep you forever, as well as preserve African traditions and the culture. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. It keeps you young, it keeps you healthy, it keeps you whole. And that's, that's another thing. I'd like for people to walk away from our performances feeling satisfied, satiated, whole. And I definitely felt whole after drumming up some experience in my passion rediscovered in this entire company. Now, the dance company continues to hold performances and auditions while educating the community about the culture of Africa. I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, so that you can learn how you can get involved. Courtney Roseanne, I mean, I'm sorry. I called you Courtney, oh, Derek. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. I respond to both. <laughs> Derek, I apologize. You see, that's what happens whenever you're so invested into the whole dance of it all. Don't even worry. Listen, <laughs> I love what she Courtney. said. It's only because I'm missing Courtney. That's all it is. We always miss Courtney. She'll be back soon. But I love what she said <laughs> about drawing strength from the difficult yeah. times. And I feel like so many of us, we're, we are averse to, like, difficult things, right? We all want to be comfortable. But when you go through the hard stuff, Stuff, yep. That's really when the growth occurs. It's Absolutely. like jazz, it's expression, mm -hmm. and I think it's amazing how they really care about the integrity of the culture right. of each of the dances, which I thought that was great. They have those stories that are told in each single dance that she does. I love it. That's why she said every move represents some type of emotion from the culture. So she Beautiful. really is invested in this company, and I love the fact that she's spreading that education throughout the community of Houston. All right, Joe Sam, amazing. thank you very much. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it from here, Jane. Jab again. <laughs> the pandemic has happened.